Hello and welcome to Tech and More. So, Salesforce automation testing, one of the most sought after skill sets in the current market for software testers. Now we did receive a lot of requests to create a course on the same, but we did take our time to come up with the best of resources for our viewers. So starting today, we are going to provide you with a playlist slash course, which will be a one-stop destination for folks who are willing to learn Salesforce automation testing that we'll be referring to as SAT or SAT in the coming videos, right? But before starting in, before starting with the technical details, I wanted to show you the design of this course, the things that we'll be learning in this course and the entire intent of this particular playlist, right? So let me take you to the first section of this video that is talking about the playlist in general. So as we discussed, it is mostly about teaching you or taking you from the beginner level. That is, if you are a person who has no idea about test automation in general, we'll be teaching you about test automation from basics. But the speciality of this course is that we'll be teaching all or the entire test automation on the Salesforce platform. So you become a Salesforce test automation engineer, right? And if you are someone who has not a lot of idea about Salesforce domain in general, then we have one more playlist that, that wherein we have talked about all the Salesforce content that you need to know as a tester. So first of all, go to that playlist, learn the Salesforce fundamentals, and then jump here to learn automation on the Salesforce platform, right? That is about the design intent of the course. Now in the next section, we'll be talking about the course or the contents or the things or the topics that we'll be discussing and learning in this entire series, right? So let's go and see that. So as you can see here, it says course flow. First of all, the first section that we are going to discuss in this entire playlist is introduction to test automation, the do's and don'ts, right? So I genuinely believe that instead of straight away jumping onto the technical aspects of any, any skill set, you should understand the generic uh, relevance of that particular skill set or of that particular skill. Uh, so as to understand where does, where does that actually fit in the entire industry domain, right? So we'll be talking about test automation in general, the do's and don'ts, where to use automation, what is the significance and all those things. You might think that this is not of much significance, but it is because if you are planning to have a serious career in Salesforce test automation, then this is very important as per my experience. Secondly, of course, we'll be jumping on to Selenium. We'll be uh, using Selenium to automate the test scripts. There are n number of tools in the market, but of course, Selenium is the most famous one, as you already know. So we'll be learning about Selenium in the subsequent frameworks, preferably Cucumber, BDD. Then next to that, we'll be learning uh, how to write optimized experts. This is the keyword. You will be finding a lot of, uh, you know, uh, content or a lot of video to uh, write down the experts, but it is very critical to write down optimized experts, which is very, very critical for your interviews or for your job in general, right? Now, the speciality is that since we are a Salesforce oriented test automation playlist, we'll be creating each and every expert. We'll be learning how to design experts on the Salesforce platform. So you have a gist, you have a flavor, you have a taste of Salesforce from the very start. Next, we'll be moving on and learning how to build a framework on an actual Salesforce project. And lastly, of course, we'll be picking up a couple of scenarios, a couple of test cases on different Salesforce clouds, for example, sales, service, community cloud. And then we'll be automating a lot of scenarios on that. All in all, you'll be learning test automation on the Salesforce platform right from the very start, right? So this is how the course flow is going to go in general. Uh, the details, of course, I'll be discussing in the subsequent videos. But yes, this is the entire overview, right? This is the course flow. Now, uh, I think this is all in this video I want to talk to about. But one very important thing that I think you should help me with is that please, please, please go ahead and do share this video. Do share this playlist. Do share this channel URL with all the folks that you know who can benefit from our content. And do share it, do subscribe it, do like it. It gives us motivation. It it you know it motivates us to create more relevant content. And uh, we, we want to leave no stone unturned to help you in any other way, right? So thank you so much for watching and hopefully and for sure, see you in the next video. Thank you.